Merge is going to happen. And you, like thousands of other members, uh, I know are anxious to see this happen. We all want to see an end to the division and competition that only hurts actors and a beginning to a new cooperative spirit that helps ensure that actors like you thrive. Your branch leadership joined the rest of the SAG branches in voting in favor of one union for all performers at their division meetings this weekend. And I, for one, applaud them for taking this important step and leading step in the leading on behalf of our union, and I was forceful in the meeting, and I really didn't even expect it. But they made a motion and seconded it, and if I recall it, it was very simple. It was just that this president's conference of the Screen Actors Guild uh, endorses the creation of one union to cover all performance. Period. <laughs> One of the things 
less than the cost of cost of gin. So, we'll talk about that. so that's a very positive. There are a few areas where we manage we can say, well, can you work with us on this? Now, you know, and I do, that a lot of times management would rather stay with certain antiquated forms of payment and everything else, because what's, what's the polite way of saying uh, things can fall through the cracks? Uh, it's an easier way to kind of move things around and not be quite as accountable. But I think that's certainly part of it, and if it was acceptable, the idea of pulling it as a as we go, I don't like to do the taxes, uh, fine by me. I think that's inevitable, not to mention saving trees. I mean, there's every argument for it. It would be an interesting thing to present to management, too, because the <coughs> question would be, and why don't we want to work for this? What exactly is the reason not to? It also uh, connects to another question, where we've had a conversation, which I'm going to do everything I can to have all this be reason and temperate and actually trying to make sense finding common ground with management. And, uh, and, uh, and that, that aspect, uh, aside from uh, uh, electronic payment, is to say, uh, how can we find a language that makes it clear that the actors are always directed the artists? Your various delivery systems don't have to do with us. That's what you're dealing with. Are getting paid according to one delivery system doesn't make any sense. There's a certain profit in it we're making, there's a certain amount of money we're making, we get certain pieces. Of this. Once you start filtering it through all the various ways it's delivered, it becomes a charade, find a better word, but you know, there's lots of ways to kind of hide and bob and leave and whatever, as opposed to just what's the number. Because as you know, the delivery systems are becoming more and more and more extensive. Probably too practical. But it's a good question in the electronic age. We're behind and there is no need for it, particularly since so much of what entertainment is now is coming to us through so we have a question. There's a question right here. Yeah, I'm curious, how many people in SAG are in that or vice versa? I'm probably going to get my numbers wrong, but uh, uh, SAG is 120,000 and uh, seems like half is like 70 and like 50,000 of them are. Uh, something like that. You know, there's the majority, definitely. The, the unquestionable, not tight, solid majority after uh, Carrie said. Uh, you know, I don't know if you know some of this history, you know, way back, it was it was the opposite magnitude. It wasn't saying, like, oh, well, no, we're doing this for after. It was after saying, and I think one of the newscasters early on uh, had said, we're, we're not interested in being in Jumpers and clowns. <laughs> <laughs> it all kind of changed around. You know, and we're to find some of them say, we don't want to be on one tent. We're all product. We're all in a big entertainment venue, whatever it is. And there's so much overlap by that. Those, those are those numbers. That's what helps us. We'll take one more question if you would. There's one thing 